All golfers have a hope to get better, but you need more than hope. You need a plan. And this video outlines your score improvement plan. The on-target game improvement system first develops a scoring profile to determine those areas of your game contributing most to your high scores. This is done by tracking the shots you hit on the course in four areas, driving, approach shots, the short game shots around the green, and your putting. Golf is four games in one, and your scoring profile objectively measures and compares your skill scores in those four games and identifies your strengths and weaknesses. Now, first, let's look at your driving performance in both distance and accuracy. The distance you hit with your best drives is good enough to score well. You don't necessarily need to hit your best drive better, just more often. During your round, you hit 50% of the fairways, and for all of the par fours, you had a remaining distance to the green of less than 175 yards. You are hitting adequate distance and a good number of fairways. I would set a statistical goal for your driving to be to hit 60% of the fairways. Now let's look at your approach shot performance. During the round, we hit approach shots only from the fairway, and the majority of shots were from 150 yards or closer. During the round, you hit 36% of the greens. This statistic indicates that between driving and approach shots, you should focus most on your approach shots. I recommend you set a goal to hit 45% of the greens you play from the fairway from a distance between 100 and 150 yards. One of the benefits of attending the school is you receive a one-year membership to the On-Target Golf Association, which gives you access to Power Tracker, which makes keeping this statistic very easy. Now let's look at your chip and pitch shot performance. Golf is about hitting targets. With driving, your target is the fairway. With approach shots, your target is the green. Your target for chip and pitches is to hit it close enough to give yourself a reasonable chance to make the first putt. That target is at least 18 feet from the hole and ideally less than 9 feet. During the round, you hit 83% of your short game shots inside of 18 feet and 42% inside of 9 feet. That is a very good percentage. My recommendation for a statistical goal for your short game is to just maintain this percentage until weaker areas of your game get caught up to these good numbers. Now let's look at your putting statistics. During your round, you had five three putts, which is 29% of the holes you played. That is equal to three putting once every three or four holes. The pros on tour average every 33 holes. Reducing your three putts is one of the best ways to lower your score. One of the reasons for this high number of three putts is you hit only 47% of your first putts inside of three feet. Your statistical goal for putting is to track the performance of all first putts that are further than 18 feet from the hole and have 75% of them stop within one yard of the hole. Power Tracker also makes tracking this statistic very easy. Next in the on target system is to prioritize the most important areas to work on first. I gave you statistical goals in each area, but what statistical goals are the most important to reach? I want my students to have one full swing project and one short game project. For your full swing project, I would like for you to hit 45% of the greens when hitting from the fairway and from a distance between 100 and 150 yards. For your short game project, I would like you to hit your first putt inside of 3 feet when you are putting from a distance greater than 18 feet. Once these goals are met, we can look again at your overall statistics and set new goals and projects. Now that we've identified the problem errors and have set some statistical goals to achieve, we need to identify what's causing our current problem and implement a correction. To reach your goal in your full swing project, you will need to make the changes I described in your full swing report. This will require at least one session to establish the change and learn the drills to do in your practice sessions. You will probably need a follow-up a few weeks after that to make sure you are still on track. During both the first session and any follow-up sessions, I want to also work on your short game project. This work will be to continue the fundamentals we covered in the school on your short game. Part of the on-target system also is to continue tracking your statistics when you play a round of golf. By attending the golf school, you now have a one-year membership to the On-Target Golf Association website which has my power tracker where you can easily record your statistics. The member side of the website is in the final stages of our newest update and will be ready to use shortly. When it is, I will send you the log information you need and the tutorials that show how to use power tracker.
The email I am sending will show you several options to choose from on which lesson program might be best for your situation.